Hi, welcome to the channel. Um, today's video is going to be on a, uh, a video inspired by Adam, K6ARK. I'll link his uh, channel in the description below. He made a uh, two meter, basically satellite uh, Yagi. And I was so inspired by that. For our two meter night, I thought I'd make a Yagi, but just a little bit different than what he made. So this will be the Yagi here. If you guys can see, it's it's five elements, and uh, it does pretty good. It came out pretty well on the SWR. Now you'll notice in the video later that these black uh, elements aren't on the antenna earlier. And if you stick around somewhere towards the end of this, I forget exactly where, there will be a. Uh, I'll tell you why. So uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell for all to get future videos. Let's get on with the show. Yeah, hopefully my wife doesn't watch this and sees me working in here. I'm not doing anything dangerous on her stuff though. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to drill the holes and then I'm going to thread them. So that way my all thread will just thread right in from one side to the other. I may or may not, I might use some blue Loctite on that just to keep them there. I don't have to. The only advantage to not doing is I can take it down even thinner. Um, Widthwise, take this two inches out of there. I think it's two and a half inches across there, and uh, that would at least that would. Uh, if you guys see that, at, at two inches, it'll make it a little bit narrower as all, but I probably won't ever do that. All right, so I'll have to drill these. What's nice is by cutting the uh, pipes into three pieces. This one's already done. That was just that was just lucky there, but the other ones are shorter, and I've got a little two by three, I think it is, that I've got a V notch in that I will attach this to, and that'll help me get a nice straight hole through. So, uh, and then I can line them by being two pieces. If I get this one has three on, if I get those three lined up right, the other two are only one, and I can I can make them fit by uh, adjusting the boom. Nice clean cut. Okay, what we're looking to do here is if you look at this, um, should, let's see, I might be too close. If you look at this, I want to get all the paint off this edge because it has to make contact. This is everything but the uh, but the driven unit. They're all going to make contact with the boom. So we're cleaning all this off, getting it nice and straight, and getting all the paint off, all the anodizing.
Okay, I'm going to I'm going to tap the holes on my um, my antenna so I don't have to use nuts. I'm going to use a drill. This stuff is really thin, so it's not going to take a whole lot to uh, make the reds. Now we can take our all thread. Okay, so now you just thread them through. Until they're about halfway. And then, we just thread the antenna elements right on. Tightens right up. All right. All right, now I'm pointed down here towards Martinez. Uh, how are you doing in that uh, portable? All right, doing good. I've got a uh, homemade uh, five element Yagi I just got through putting together. It's uh, kind of for portable use for backpacking. Well, you're making it all the way to South Sacramento. I'm running a four element quad on a 22 foot pole, and I got a 5S S5 on you. Yeah, KK6 USY. KK6 USY, great signal into Vallejo, Charlie Mike 88. Just D on the other side of the switch. Just move it from one side of the switch to the other. Wow, he just popped in there all of a sudden. How it was doing to you. Where are you located? I'm in the hills above Placerville, and you're hitting me with a good solid uh, S6. Clean, no problems. Oh, up on the hill. Hi, this is Killer Papa for my Dubson Mobile. And I'm crawling along the floor of the valley here. I'm uh, in Citrus Heights, and you are pounding in 30 over S9. Same here as Carol. N6 PAR in El Dorado. Alpha Julia 6, Quebec X-ray. Working good for in Manteca, WA6KTK. More I drive, uh, you're full quieting here at Lodi Lake in Lodi, 86 SSN. So it's off North Texas right now. Oh, nice. Uh, Lodi, that's a pretty good little hop there. I'm uh, up past Pollock Pines at a above Union Valley Reservoir, looking down on it at a lookout. Uh, like a fire, a fire lookout. Yeah, you're on Big Hill, but I'm getting you with that. You're getting me with that. That's cool. I heard a guy in there from Antigua just before me. Yeah, yeah, you guys are all really loud. How's the snow up there? The snow here melted. I was here two weeks ago, and there was like six inches, and it's gone right now. Yeah, I've got you and the Manteca guy. You guys are, the Manteca is really loud. Stationary is working good. Uh, yes, yeah, Whiskey One, Foxtrot, Romeo Delta, spread here in Fairfield. AJ6QX Lincoln. Over S9 here uh, in Manteca, the guy up on Big Hill there. WA6KTK. It's a little homemade uh, Yagi. It's made for backpacking. It's got half inch uh, tubing for the, uh, for the boom and uses arrows for the elements. Yeah, that's awesome. It's working, buddy. You can sell that thing, make some money. 
Chuck, I can't believe I didn't uh, figure that out. Uh, yeah, this is Fred. We uh, talk on, on YouTube. You know, did that uh, that rotor thing. I bought the motor. Yeah, that's who I am. Yeah, Fred. Now I, got, I know who you are, for sure. I checked his N6 CAR. Yeah, I've been watching your uh, your videos, and uh, you're kind of a bad influence on me now. I've got a. Uh, I'm starting to build a Yagi myself. Kind of inspired me. So I appreciate the work you're doing. Uh, definitely the videos are helping. So good job. Keep it up. I'm at about six thousand feet, and I'm I'm running fifty watts right now. Well, you're every bit of sixty o sixty dB over antenna melting horsepower there. All right, now I'm down to ten watts. Is that uh, not melting your antenna now? Well, now you're only down to forty-five dB over. Have a good day, pull off signs, K60 JB down in American Canyon. Oh, is that Derek? Yes, it is. I'm using my little uh, rotor to dial you guys in. Oh, you want to? Okay, swing it around this way. Wait, who am I talking to? Uh, this is Chuck, KK6USY. Oh, hello there, Chuck. Yes. Just, uh, there's a nice opening on 10 meters, so we were horsing around over there and then came back here. Yeah, I'm not really sure. I just, I was just doing a little video on a little Yagi I built for, like, backpacking and stuff. Oh, very nice. Okay, yep. I can't wait to see that. Uh, next Monday. Um, tonight's is the Moxon, or t tomorrow night, or Monday night. Oh, very nice. Okay. That sounds cool. Yep, I look forward to those videos. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. After watching the footage, I didn't put anything in about why I changed those, uh, those elements. Um, what I found out is they have, uh, in the video I showed you how I was, I was uh, taking the, uh, the paint off the ends of the elements so they would make contact with the, uh, with the boom. Well, what happened is under higher wattage, it really wasn't making a very good contact. So, and those had plastic inserts. So I'm not going to link those arrows. What I'd have you do is go to Adam's video, and I'll try to link his video down below also, and use the stuff that he used for that reason. Now, Adam being the nice guy, he is going to send me some inserts to fix my original arrows. The, one that I, the black ones are actually a little on the short side. They're for a different antenna. So hopefully you uh, enjoyed today's show and got something, that, got something from it. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new here and uh, hit the all button to get future videos. This is Chuck, KK6USY, for Ham Radio Ventures. Thanks for watching. 73.